Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at a handy training tracker template which lets you keep up with which trainings have been completed by your employees. So this is a way for you to assign training, uh, especially for new employees, and then do some tracking to see which of those trainings have been completed and be able to manage multiple employees uh, using a list in SharePoint. What's great about this is it allows for some inline editing and a nice fluid view, which is easy to update. So it's going to be a lot quicker than just your regular out of the box SharePoint setup. So if you're looking to do some tracking on training for your staff members, I think you'll find this template useful. So now let's get SharePoint smart. Here I am at my SharePointDashboards.com site. That's where this template is. This will be linked below the video. And you can see a quick preview of how this template works. So you've got an Excel-like grid where you can just go in and update cells directly from your SharePoint dashboard. And in this way, you can go ahead and assign trainings and add to a list for each employee very easily. And then we've got color coding to help us see status for each of those trainings. We've got a link to the resources for that training. We'll show you how that works. And then also um, I can add notes and that type of thing. So this view is just gonna give me a nice preview of what that's gonna look like in SharePoint. So you can set the colors um, however you like. You can check out some different theme options. That's up to you. Um, for our demonstration, we're just going to go with the theme one option, but you're welcome to make adjustments there. Now there is a little bit of prep work that you need to do in order to take advantage of this template. Linked in the help section is a template download called Training Tracker. And if you click on that, that will download an STP file, which is a SharePoint template file which you can upload back to your SharePoint site, and that way you don't have to manually create the fields. If you need to, it is also possible to create the fields manually, and you can download the Excel workbook if you wanna see a list of all the fields needed for this template. So I've already got my list set up and I've completed those steps. So just to show you in the list setting some of those fields that are used for this list, uh, we've got an employee field, and then we've got uh, a series of 15 fields to account for the different rows. So I've got date 1 through date 15, status 1 through status 15, etc. And those are part of that list template. So if you're able to install and add that, then it'll save you a little bit of time. Otherwise, you can manually create these fields. And then... There is one additional field we need to create and a list that is related to that. So in addition to this training list, which I'll use for my actual template, which I've called training tracker, I need to create a reference list used to uh, store information and links about each training. So. If I'm tracking training, I'm assigning different training programs. So that's what this second list is about. So uh, as you can see, I've made a list of different trainings that I want employees to have access to. So we've got basic Excel, intermediate Excel, advanced Excel, etc. So I can just keep adding or updating this list at any time. And this list is going to hold descriptions of the training. I can add links. You could attach documents. You can do anything you want with your reference list, which describes the training programs. And in our main list, where we're going to apply this template, you do need to add one more field, which is a lookup field. So if we go my list, you're going to see there is one more field called select training. And that should be a lookup field pointing to the title field in the second list. Make sure that it's named exactly as shown with no space and make sure that um, we're showing the title column from that second list. And we'll see how that all connects together in just one moment. 
So when you have that work out of the way, then you're ready for the fun part. Since I've got everything set up, I can now apply the template. So I just need to go to SharePoint dashboards and I can click on the copy template button. And I'm just following the directions in that pop-up box. I can go back to my template and I'm going to go to my tracker view and that's where I'm going to apply the formatting. So go to the list drop down, go to format current view, click on advanced mode, select all, paste and save. All right, so you can see I already entered some courses. Now we got to get to check this out and see a little bit how this works. Okay, so the idea is I've got this Excel-like grid, and when I click into it, I can get this pop-up window, and this is linking over to that other list I created. So let's assign advanced PowerPoint. So I just pick from there and then click this set button, and it's gonna go ahead and set that, and it also creates a link over to that description of that training. So now you understand the purpose of that list, and that can have as many fields and attachments. This should have a full description of that training content for your students. So um, that is completely up to you what you want to do. And then I can click in here and assign it for a specific date. And then we've got four statuses. We've got not started, in progress, hold, or complete. Um, so I'll start with not started. And then last we've got a notes field if we want to go ahead and put some notes. Um, please get this completed by next Friday. Okay, you can put whatever you want. That's just for ad hoc notes, just to add additional description or information for students or for the person assigning the training. Now, what you'll notice is that it will just keep adding more rows for you. So if I had um, set another row of training, I can do... Um, intermediate PowerPoint, set that, you'll see that it keeps making another row available to me. And that will be available up through uh, 15 rows. Okay, so that's going to give you plenty of room to keep entering more and more training. Um, and then what you'll find is when you get to 15, that's the amount of information that's stored for a record. This isn't a problem because basically you just need to set another record for that employee. So if I wanted to have another record, I just do this. I just enter a title. So I'll say 2024 training. And then um, we'll do it for another employee. So I've got another employee in here called SharePoint dashboards. And you just have to enter those two fields to add another employee record. And so you can see what's going to happen. They're going to stack on top of each other. So I could have a long list of employees and it'll just uh, stack one after the other. And of course I can sort by the employee's name and it just makes it easy for me to manage this all in one place. If I have more than 15 trainings for one person, then I could just make a, you know, a part two, a second list, if you will. Now you also can just revert back to your other view. So maybe you wanna do a report out. So it could be you wanna export this to Excel and then you can just use the regular grid view for that and just use a regular Excel export if you want to report that out um, later on, say at the end of the year, that type of thing. So that's pretty much it. So this just allows you a nice dashboard to view trainings that have been assigned by employees and then use this handy lookup to have a list of all the different trainings that are available. So now you can manage that and manage what you're signing uh, to all the workers on your various teams and keep track of who's completed their training, what's upcoming, and maybe be able to see, you know, what's missing in terms of uh, someone's training for the year. So that is pretty much it. So I hope you found that useful. This is really intended to provide a nice visual management for the training and also to be fluid. We want something that we're, we can make these updates really quickly. An additional feature I would recommend is to set up an email notification rule. So naturally when you assign a training to somebody, you want them to know about that. So that could be done very easily through Power Automate. 
you could just set up a rule that when uh, there's an update to the training for an employee, it's going to automatically send them a notification to come to this list and check that information. Another consideration might have to do with permissions. Maybe that you just want your HR team members to be directly updating this list. So what you might do is create different SharePoint security groups. And it could be that you just want your employees to see this in a read only mode. And so that way you have some control over that and only um, your management is actually indicating when trainings have been completed, that type of thing. So you can do uh, different views to have control over that. So I hope you found that interesting. This is a way you can manage and track uh, training as it relates to each of your staff members and do it in a very user-friendly manner. Good luck!